I just want to show you the updated DAP and how it looks, even how it scales. I think it's pretty cool. How's it going guys? My name is Daniel aka Hashlips and welcome back to just a updated video for this week. I decided that I'm going to have these updates during the week just to communicate to all the followers on this channel. Now I know everyone on this channel is in some way an artist or a coder or someone that's intrigued by the way that we use code. Now I love to communicate and give feedback to everyone and even though I don't have the necessary time to respond to everyone's questions, I think a video like this at least once a week will clear things up and also allow me to have some kind of platform to talk to you guys. I just want to mention that to the 13 owners of the Nerdy Coder clones, the lucky 13, myself included, um, thank you so much. This means a lot to me. It does support my channel actually as well. Apart from you also getting an awesome NFT, I would really like to see who's going to get that Alien Eyes one. But um, thank you guys. And for those of you who don't know, we've created this collection, like I said in the previous tutorial, as well as this dap. Now, for most of you, you won't recognize this DAP, and that is because it was updated. Now, I've updated this DAP for a specific reason, and the reason is, uh, before we just got this connect button and we connected into the DAP, I moved it over here, and I've swapped a bit of uh, elements around. It makes the page look more enticing, first of all, and it looks cool. And apart from that, it also is scalable. So you can see I can drag it in and out. I even added a little animation. So most of the people when uh, using the DAP and actually coding with it, they found that the connect button didn't pop up this meta mask uh, pop up over here to connect. Well, now it does. And I'll show you in the code in this video, the code that actually does that. In this video, I also want to add three different updates regarding the previous videos and the minters and also the NFT generative art that is very important. And that's why I will make these intermediate videos so that you guys can always stay up to date. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and say next connect. And now that I'm connected, you can see that it updates and it recognizes that there's 35 NFTs out of the thousand already minted. If you want to go and get one for yourself, it's going to cost you a hundred Matic. You can go and click on buy and then it should pop up and show you the hundred Matic, the gas fees, and you can click confirm. If for whatever reason you click on this button and it just says loading, it means that your MetaMask is not connected. I'll give you an example. And the reason why I want to do this is to show people what to do when this happens to yourself. Also, this is a good understanding of what happens when the action doesn't want to kick off. So if I click buy now after disconnecting, it will just stay in this state saying minting your nerdy coder clone, but not doing anything. When you see this, then obviously you have to make sure that your MetaMask is connected. Now there's two ways of doing this. You can either refresh the page and click connect again. And if that doesn't work, you can manually connect to the site by clicking over there on the dots, connected sites, manually connect. And when you click next, it will connect. But I just want to show you that it will work if we just refresh because we've updated the code. Perfect. I'm looking forward to meeting the new uh, nerdy code uh, clones uh, owners. So if you have one, come and tell us on Twitter. Um, so another update that I just want to give is where can you find me? Where can you find the team that's sitting behind Hashlips? Now you can go to hashlips.online and click on any of these social media icons and you'll be able to find me or someone that can assist. And I would really like to recommend you guys going to Twitter and once you're on Twitter, you can go and follow us there. Come and leave us a comment. And if you want to uh, find me, this is my Twitter account. So if you go there, you can come and uh, tell me all about whatever it is you want to. I see someone has already been posting their um, nerdy coder clone. 
and I really appreciate that. Lastly, what I also want to update everyone on, apart from the new website look uh, for the DAP, is also the changes that um, has been made on the Hashlips GitHub repository. Now, there is a lot of changes and things happening with the two main repositories. The first one is the Generative Art Node repo. The reason why I made a change, and not so much a change, but just added some code, was that I saw people requested the original archived code, the original, the OG code that we've written in the very first tutorial. If you go on the branches, you can see there's a branch called archive code, and if you go on there, this is the original code base. The reason why I added that is because the main code base has been altered and contributed by a lot of community members, which I appreciate, but it's not the same code that's in the video. That is one of my updates that I wanted to mention. The second update is there was a little bit of a glitch in the Generative Art open source program. If I go in there and I go into my index file and scroll all the way to line, I think it is 120, right over yes it is 120 but it's not on the main branch it's on v3 branch so if we go all the way down to 120 you will see i've added this plus one the reason why i added the plus one is in our previous tutorial i realized that that mathematical um, equation that we have there and that function only returns values up to 99 and if you have for instance a rarity that needs to include the very last percent you need to you need it to go to a hundred percent and that's why I add the plus one so this is an important update and change that I would suggest you make in your code as well perfect lastly I want to mention that if you go back to the Hashlips repositories and you click on the example NFT Minter, a thing that I've added here is uh, obviously when you go to the Redux and the blockchain actions, for MetaMask to pop up, I've added these two lines. This basically grabs the Ethereum uh, object from the window, just a bit differently how we have done it. It checks that object is there, otherwise you need to install MetaMask. And then lastly, I've changed this function. It used to say ETH underscore account, and now it says request account. This little function over here is the reason why MetaMask will now pop up. Then when we go back to this repo, and we go into the source file again, and we head to the app.js, Something that is very important to note is that when you do these transactions and especially the minting transaction, it is quite important that you decide to add the gas limit and a two. The two field over here just represents your uh, contract address of the NFT collection. So for example, if we go to the Nerdy Code of Clones collection, you can see there's 35, 13 addresses. It's this address. So I copy that usually and I go and place it in the to field. This just assures me that this is going to call the right function on the right contract. So you need to verify that um, they would be the same. All right. So that is just uh, what's happening there. Obviously, these two addresses won't be the same because this is the example. For the gas limit, the reason why I set it to, to 285,000 is because I want to overestimate the amount of gas that it's going to take to mint an NFT on the contract. You'll realize that if you go to, the, uh, to this contract, to the Nerdy Code of Clones contract, and you go to the transactions, you'll notice that there's two transactions or even more down here that failed. Okay? The reason why that was is because MetaMask was not determining the gas limit as it should. So it gave too little gas and the contract ran out of gas. We can observe that if we click on this transaction and we scroll down, 
we can kind of observe what happens. Sometimes it will tell you that it ran out of gas or what the problem might be. But as you can see, okay, so here this was, we supplied enough gas. So this must have been an action that wasn't allowed to be called or something. But an example of where a minting takes place, so see someone paid 100 Matic to mint the NFT. In this example, you can go down to the gas that was used and the gas is roughly at about 156,000 uh, gas that's used. And uh, we supply more than enough gas for this transaction to go through. If a transaction fails on the blockchain, it would not take that person's money because it will only take the gas fees and revert. That's why you'll see, even though these two uh, failed, no uh, Matic was really taken, it was only the gas fees. So, that's what I just wanted to mention, and that's why in the code we set this gas limit. And by doing this, you increase the chance of your contract minting successfully. I want to thank every one of you who actually joined our... Um, Telegram, our Twitter pages, our YouTube, and thank you to the 3,000 followers that has uh, decided to follow this channel. It really means a lot to me. Next, in the following weeks, I will be focusing on Solidity Contract and uh, explaining to you guys from a beginner level the Solidity programming language from variables, arrays, modifiers, and everything. I want to get the basics down so that you guys are comfortable when we get to writing our own custom smart contracts. We won't only be writing smart contracts, we'll be doing cool um, things with the blockchain, write numerous code examples and do much more than just doing NFTs. And that's why I'm excited to show this to you guys. Lastly, I encourage you guys to maybe, if you don't own a Nerdy Coder clone yet, just to go in the collection and maybe find your favorite one and go and give it a like. What I'll do throughout the week is look at the comments in these videos and I want to find the comment that's kind of the most motivating in the blockchain space, if I can put it like that, to give one of these Nerdy Coder clones to. So someone will win a Nerdy Coder clone this week just by commenting in the comment section and if I found that comment super inspiring, super informative or whatever it might be, I would give that person one NFT. Lastly, what I want to mention is a shout out. Thank you to all the people who has actually uh, gone ahead and shared with me their NFTs. The other day I was scrolling through my account and here it is. You can see I've got my Nerdy Coder clone and I came upon this amazing tuna. Now, this is not all I came upon, so I want to thank the person who sent me these amazing tunas um, very much. And I also want to give a few more shout outs to people um, such as Mr. Lemonhead over here. The Lucky is Color Collection. Thank you for sending me a puppy over there. The Crypto Tune Verse uh, NFT cards. And then also the Forgotten Vectors as well as the Ether Legion um, collection person who sent me that one and the very first one, you know, the Trip and Cat, I love that one. Uh, but also then Crypto Spaceships and Crypto Creatures NFT, they all sent me uh, examples of their NFTs and I really appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys. I just want to say that every week I will be giving shout outs to the people who's been giving me their NFTs as examples. And the reason for that is because I know behind the scenes, you guys have actually followed the tutorials. And then after giving shout outs, I'll actually go into my favorite collection of the week um, that I've seen and go and show it off like this one. I really like the Mr. Lemonheads. I really think they're cool. I think they're unique. I think that the artworks on them are pretty uh, funny as well. Some of them, you know, I saw one with a head bandage on the other day. Um, I can't find it now, but you guys can go and check these collections out. These are people who I presume followed all my tutorials and I'm really grateful uh, that you guys share with me uh, your cool artworks and the NFTs. 
So without further ado guys, I just want to say thank you and thank you again for the 3000 subscribers. I will be here teaching you guys the way of code as long as I can. And the last update is I will be getting a microphone um, very soon because I realized that my computer that I got, um, its microphone or its built-in microphone is not good enough to really clearly hear what I'm saying. And sometimes it creates this little bit of a buzz. And I would like to eliminate that for you guys too. So up to next time, guys. Uh, until next time, go and check out the Nerdy Coder clones. Go and check out our social media accounts. I'll catch up with you guys on Twitter, wherever I can. But um, in the next video, we will be starting with Solidity.